What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing to you a new project called Pearl and Pearl Exchange. Let's get straight into this. Deep liquidity for on-chain real world assets. This is obviously an exchange here guys. Um, and it is backed by uh, the Pearl coin. Increasing bribes by design. Pearl is a bribe driven economy powered by USDR, the required stable coin in token pairs with gauges. Pearl skims USDR's native yield and redirects it to bribe pools as protocol TVL increases. Uh, it leads to larger and larger bribes for voters. So basically it's kind of like a liquidity pool um, where you're gonna gain some interest I would assume. Um, the Pearl thesis is a VE33 flywheel that runs in reverse with bribes driving the ecosystem forward. Uh, liquidity pool voters receive USDR yield via auto bribing systems, uh, yield skimming. Uh, Pearl emissions are now more valuable. Uh, increasing value of sticky bribes drive demand for VE Pearl to receive bribe and pool fees. Boosting TVL as users provide liquidity to gain free access to Pearl emissions and driving up demand in the price of Pearl. USDR auto bribes expand as TVL expands. So this is kind of like a little breakdown here of kind of what Pearl and the Pearl exchange is about. I want to go ahead and tell you, make sure you like the video and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can see more videos from me when I drop new projects that are cool. Uh, and you guys can take a look and see if they're a good fit for you. Um, so let's keep going here. Um, these guys have actually uh, did a strategic alliance with Tangible. Uh, so Pearl's goal is to innovate on Solidity VE33 model by spinning the flywheel backwards, building a protocol that utilizes a projectable increase to bribes uh, from Epic to Epic. This is the driver to token demand and ultimately liquidity provision. So that's kind of what their goal is with this. Um, you can read the you know Medium article yourself, but basically um, I wanted to show you really quick, uh, quick thing. So in the coming weeks, Tangible will launch uh, Caviar, a liquid wrapper for VE Pearl NFTs, bringing simplicity to VE33 economics. Um, Caviar will transform VE Pearl NFTs and representing locked Pearl at PearlFi uh, governance tokens into liquid ERC-20s that return plus 200% APR in stable coins. So this is the new, uh, this is a new thing uh, that's going to be coming pretty soon. Uh, introducing the Caviar here. So that's pretty cool. I like, the, I like the symbol. This is very attractive actually. I like the name. Caviar is elite. You know what I mean? They're, you know, you know, they're, they're leveraging that, uh, that elitist feel. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but realistically, uh, this is just something that they've kind of paired up with and it's a good fit for, for Pearl. And I think that this could turn out really well for them. Um, basically the other thing here is, uh, the lock incentive or lock matching programs are popular tools used by VE33 protocols to provide incremental value to the community and strengthen the flywheel. Uh, so Pearl is now joining the fund, they say. So there's a lock bonus program of 3 million Pearl, uh, the lock of Pearl into VE Pearl and get up to 35% bonus now live. So if you're wanting to get a you know up to a 35% bonus, uh, lock up your Pearl and turn it into VE Pearl. And there you go. This is something that might benefit you guys. Uh, again, not a financial advisor. Uh, always do your own research and due diligence on any project. I like to try to showcase projects to you guys that are gonna provide you some form of passive income, hopefully, um, and as well as just other innovative projects in the market. So this is one of them. And so um, real quick, the other thing I wanna mention is these guys are number two on DeFi Llama. So they're the number two slot right here. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. They have got some good stuff going for them right now. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Obviously, um, you know, I want to get in a little deeper into like the white paper and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go forward with that. Uh, Pearl Exchange is bringing deep liquidity for on-chain real world assets to Polygon. So as you know, uh, Pearl is a Polygon based token. So as the fifth largest chain in DeFi and one with rich history of leadership and fostering innovation, Polygon's lack of a VE33 product uh, was an obvious problem that they believe they could solve. Um, so basically that's kind of their, their reason behind what they're wanting to do here is they're just wanting to provide you guys something that wasn't in the market yet. 
um, and see how it can add value to you. Uh, Envision Pearl as Polygon's native liquidity layer, prioritizing RWAs and promoting value generation. Um, Pearl provides a liquidity solution for both new and existing protocols, solving for initial liquidity challenges while also serving as an efficient solution to long-term liquidity incentivization. Pearl is owned by its users, protocols, and investors with their collective contributions helping to establish Pearl as one of DeFi's premier AMMs in an economy that's decentralized and open source. They firmly believe that cooperative approach is vital to outpace competitors and position your product as a market front runner. So that's kind of the why. Uh, so let's get a little further. As I mentioned, they have a strategic partnership with Tangible, um, key strategic partner in the development of Pearl. Um, you guys can take a look at about uh, about Tangible yourselves, obviously. I'm trying to highlight some of the key points here. Uh, the team, uh, they have an exceptional wealth of experience um, and they have a seasoned group of developers. Um, team has identified a critical void in the DeFi ecosystem on Polygon and is addressing this gap with the creation of Pearl. Pearl utilizes the two token model popularized by Solidly and now a foundation in all VE33 exchanges. Uh, Pearl is an ERC20 token and the main utility token. DEX emissions are distributed as Pearl, which are used as farming rewards to incentivize deep liquidity provision to optimize trading conditions. Users add liquidity and stake LP tokens earn Pearl. Pearl's addition token supply at launch will be 50 million. Each epic additional tokens will be emitted into circulation. Uh, breakdown of Pearl's initial distribution and emission schedule has been included in the docs. Um, VE Pearl token. So VE Pearl is an ERC 721 aka NFT. Uh, the vote escrowed version of Pearl. Uh, users can lock vote escrow their pearl uh, tokens for up to two years to get ve pearl giving them the power to vote on the platform's gauges which uh, controls how emissions are allocated to the various liquidity pools on pearl the longer the lock the higher the amount of voting power received 100 pearl locked for two years will become 100 ve pearl 100 pearl locked for six months will become 25 ve pearl less voting power of course to encourage sustained participation from stakeholders VE Pearl balances decline over time, ultimately reaching zero at the end of the lock period. To maintain their balance, users must renew their lock duration on an ongoing basis, thus preserving their voting power while fostering ongoing activity and engagement within the Pearl ecosystem. Uh, VE Pearl token positions can be increased, split up, and resold on secondary market at any time. Uh, and then the VE Pearl utility, gauge bribes, holders earn bribes by voting for gauges on the protocol. These votes are done weekly to determine how Pearl emissions will be distributed between gauges the following epic. Voters collect 100% of bribes posted weekly for each pool. Fee revenue, voters earn up to 100% of the swap fees generated by the pools they vote for each epic. And governance, holders will participate in future governance voting for protocol improvement proposals and shaping the evolution of Pearl. Uh, and it says a gauge is a farming smart contract that takes deposits in one asset, typically an LP token, uh, vault token, NFT position, etc., and rewards the depositor yield in another token. These are typically governance tokens like Pearl when yield farming on a VE33 exchange. So it's a little bit of the tokenomics essentially. Uh, and then the initial, initial supply and distribution uh, they've been in designed to incentivize positive action and align the incentives of all ecosystem participants to create shared value in the protocol. Various groups and early participants will receive initial VE Pearl positions to activate their participation in the Pearl economy. But true to the VE33 model, the tokenomics require continued participation to maintain long-term value. Uh, so tokenomic distribution is basically um, 2 million DEX liquidity, 3 million marketing, 5 million ecosystem grant, uh, 5 million tangible 3 3 plus, 9 million airdrop, and then 11 million to team. Uh, so that's just kind of their distribution essentially. Uh, and it says 30% of the initial supply is allocated to protocols who demonstrate their willingness to engage with the exchange. Um, and it's showing that, uh, you know, 30% protocol air, airdrop locked. 
Uh, this allocation will be distributed across both the launch phase to protocols engaged in early Pearl activity and the post-launch phase to reward the projects and communities who will make Pearl an enduring success. When evaluating partner protocols, they'll consider a range of factors including TVL, product quality, community, and trade volumes, and they'll make special effort to engage RWA protocols and support their development through liquidity and stake in Pearl. At any time, the team can allocate these tokens to new protocols uh, who leverage them to support Pearl. Uh, and then the amount of per VE Pearl airdropped to each protocol will be variable and dependent on the needs and value uh, add of each individual protocol, enough to give them a jump start on their ecosystem activity. And they expect these projects to continue to acquire Pearl to maintain their long term li uh, liquidity incentives. Uh, and as these tokens are earmarked for pre and post launch protocol support, there are no plans to burn this supply at any time. So they're not planning to burn any of this. Any unallocated token will be used by the Pearl team to vote for the pools and protocols, which will benefit the success of Pearl. Prior to distribution, they will consider these tokens to be Pearl protocol equity. The list of protocols receiving the partner airdrop will be regularly updated. They have an emission schedule. So weekly emissions at inception, 2.6 million Pearl. Weekly emissions decay 1%. Weekly treasury wallet allocation, 2.5%. Weekly VE Pearl rebase up to 50% at an 80% lock rate. Emissions for liquidity providers, minimum of 47.5%. Inflation protection. Make sure you guys check out the full white paper so that you can get all the details that you need uh, so that you feel confident and comfortable about investing. Uh, but I want to go ahead and just showcase the exchange really quick. So basically, how the exchange will work is you're going to either convert USDR uh, into Pearl or vice versa. So you can do so, connecting your wallet, of course, uh, up here, and then you'll be able to uh, essentially pick how much you want so if you decide that you want to buy let's say like a thousand USDR you'd get about 2656 pearl uh, and you can do the you know conversion there uh, or you can swap vice versa so you have your slip slippage tolerances here you can adjust these uh, so on and so forth uh, and then as far as like liquidity these are some of the pools here um, that you guys can take a look at you can pair your tokens to provide liquidity, stake to earn rewards. Um, and essentially, you can check out the APR percentage, the TVL, uh, and all of that good stuff there. And then also, you can actually go ahead and do the lock on this page here. So if you lock Pearl, you will convert it into the VE Pearl, as we mentioned, uh, to earn fees and lucrative bribes. Lock more tokens for longer to increase voting power. More votes equals more bribes, and VE Pearl can always be transferred, merged, or split maintaining voting power by adding new VE Pearl and relocking. So you can certainly do that. Uh, obviously you'll need to connect your wallet to do so. The voting system here, uh, each earning bribes and trading fees by voting, select your VE Pearl and allocate 100% of your votes to one or more pools. Check rewards each week to collect your bounties. So you can see here uh, the APR, the total votes, uh, the rewards amount, and then obviously if you actually vote, it'll show your percentage here uh, that you've utilized here. And then you will have your rewards section here. Uh, you can claim your bribes, transaction fees, and other VE Pearl rewards here. Select your VE Pearl to get started, and then you can check out the next epic or the current epic. Um, but I will tell you this, as far as uh, current bribes, this epic uh, is about 615,000. So that's definitely pretty impressive right there. Um, comparisons, uh, like I showed you to the other protocols, it's number two on DeFi Llama. So if that, you know, gives you any kind of idea about, you know, this has got some, it's got some things going on. Um, I think that you guys should consider taking a look at this. Uh, again, always do your own research as with any project, but I think this one has some pretty cool features to it uh, and the ability to, you know, uh, have that governance and take participation in the community, I think is really cool, as well as the ability to earn through these liquidity pools. This is a great way to make some passive income uh, through liquidity pools. So that's something for you guys to take a look at. Uh, and I also encourage you uh, to consider doing the lock on the tokens if that's something you wanna do to get more voting rights and voting power and stuff like that. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would advise you to check out my next video, The Alpha.